In this video, we'll be seeing how to install and set up Laravel for the first time. So we'll be doing this inside a fresh Windows installation. So it will be easy for you to understand. So let's open Chrome browser and search for SAMP. X A M P P. And you can go to the link here and download the latest version for Windows. Now let's wait for the download to start. You can see that the download actually starts on this page. Okay, so you can see the download started here. So wait for it to complete and you have to install SAMP. So inside SAMP, we'll be having PHP and Apache. So the download is complete right now. So let's open the downloads folder and let's double tap the SAMP installer. And we have to install the SAMP application. So you can click yes here. Now we can see that the SAMP installation has started. So you can see a warning here, simply ignore that. Now you can click next, click next. Here you can choose the folder to which you wish to install SAMP. So let's keep it to the same and click on next. Click next and next. We can see the installation started. Now let's wait for it to complete. Now you can see that the SAMP has successfully installed. You can click on finish and you can see the SAMP has opened. So now this is our SAMP dashboard control panel. You can see that we are having Apache and MySQL. So let's start uh, after installing SAMP, we have to add the path to PHP. So let's add the path first of all. You can click on the Explorer button from here and here you can see we are inside C slash SAMP. You can also open this by going to this PC and open this Windows C drive and you can see SAMP. Okay, here we can scroll down and you can see PHP. Open this and we have to copy the path. You can see we are having php.exe here. See this? So you have to copy the path. So you can copy the path from this here. Okay, simply copy the path from here. And we have to add this path to the environment variable. So search for environment variables. And you can open this edit system environment variables. And here we can see this option, the last one. Okay, click on here. And we have to open the path. Double click this. And we have to add a new path. Click on new. And we can paste the copied path here c slash samp slash php okay and you can click on ok see you have to add the path like this okay don't make mistake otherwise you'll get errors okay so click on ok and ok okay so now we have added php to our device properly so now we can search if php is properly added by opening command prompt and type php hyphen hyphen version now you can see php is properly added so let's close the command prompt now we are having samp and php properly configured now we have to add composer so let's go to chrome and search for composer so you can see get composer.org click on the link and you can go to the download button and here you can see we are having a download option here so click on this composer hyphen setup.exe and you can see the download started now double tap this install for all users you can click on yes you can click on next here and you can see the path of the php installation so it is automatically detected since we added the path to the environment variable. So we don't have to do anything here. And click on next. Click on next. 
next and install okay so the installation is complete you can click on finish that's all now we have installed samp and composer now we can go to laravel and install laravel so search for laravel you can see laravel.com click here click on get started and scroll down and you can see how to install laravel using composer so you can see this so we'll be using the laravel installer and we'll be installing it globally and then we'll be having a command laravel so this will be convenient if you are using laravel frequently so we are going to install this we can also create a project by using this command so here we'll be seeing how to install a laravel installer okay so you can use both the commands everything works copy this command and open command prompt cmd and we can paste the command here so here you can see that it is asking that the zip extension is not enabled so for that you can go to the samp installation so open the samp control panel and here you can go to the config straight to the apache you can see this config button click on this and open the php.init file okay open this file so here we have to search for so here we have to search for zip so click on control f and type zip and hit enter now you can see on the bottom here extension equal to zip so we simply have to remove this from here okay simply remove this semicolon and save this and you can close it and now we have to close the command prompt and open the command prompt once more and we can paste the command here okay wait for it to complete so here we are installing the laravel installer so this will be installed globally on your device if you are creating a project directly so let's go to the documentation i will show you so here if you are using this command you simply have to create a project directly so this is creating the project directly so instead of this example app you can give the name of your application that's it you don't have to install this globally if you want to install this globally it is an easier way you can use this command laravel so this is the recommended way if you want to install laravel installer so now open the command prompt so you can see the laravel installer has installed properly now we are having a command named laravel laravel hyphen hyphen version see you can see the laravel installer version 5.2.0 so let's close the command prompt now you need an ide so we can go with either php storm or vs code so let's search for php storm so this is a paid id so you can see the pricing here i recommend using php storm if you are willing to go for this you can also get an educational offer for this you can get this id for free so go to the education section here and you can apply for a free license see this so click this link and scroll down and you can see the eligibility criteria and all so read this and you can click on apply now so that will open up the form you can fill this and you can get the free license for it okay so you can either use a university email or official document something like that and you can apply it and you will get the license for the php storm i recommend using php storm since it has a lot of features by default so you don't have to install the plugins and all those things so out of the box php storm is the best ide if you are going for php development so the next one is vs code so let's search for vs code and you can see visual studio code click this one and this is a free one okay so this is a free ide so you can either go for php storm or visual studio code so in this video we'll be downloading visual studio code so let's download visual studio code 
since most of the users will be going for Visual Studio Code, we are going to show this video in Visual Studio Code itself. Okay, so let's download it and install it. Click the exe file. Now you have to accept this agreement and click on next. And this is the path of the installation. Click on next. Next. Okay, you can add the path, etc. So I click on next itself. Okay, and install. So the Visual Studio Code is installed properly. Now you can click on finish. It will launch the Visual Studio Code. So you can see this is the IDE. So you can customize it according to your wish. Okay, so we are not going to do that right now. So let's close this one. Okay, now we have properly installed an IDE. So this is the IDE that we are going to use Visual Studio Code. Okay, so now we have to create a project. Okay, so for that, we can go to file here and open a folder. Click on open a folder. Now you have to select a location where you wish to place your project. So for now, we can go to download itself and let's create a new folder and name it my projects. Okay, now you can open this select folder, click on select folder. Okay, and you can click on yes, I trust. Okay, and maximize the window. So now we are inside Visual Studio Code. Now we have to create a Laravel project. So for that, you can go to terminal here. You can see on the menu bar, we are having terminal and click on new terminal. So you can see on the bottom, the terminal has opened. So I will increase the font of this for you. So control plus. Okay, hope this is visible for you. And here we can create a new Laravel project. So for that, we can use the command Laravel. So we have installed the Laravel installer. So we can use the command Laravel. Laravel space new and then the project name. So let's name something like my demo app and hit enter. So you can see that it is showing an error here. So this is because we are inside the Visual Studio code. You simply have to restart your system and this will go away. So let me just restart the system and come back. So I have restarted the system and opened Visual Studio code. So you can first of all try restarting the Visual Studio code instead of restarting the system and open the terminal. Okay, I have restarted the system. If restarting Visual Studio code doesn't work, we can restart the system and try. So let's open the terminal and type the command Laravel new and the app name, my demo app and hit enter. You can see that the Laravel installation process has started and it is asking you to select a starter kit. So since you are learning, you can go for none. So type none here, hit enter. And you can see it is asking to select a testing framework. So type zero and hit enter. We'll learn more about these on later part. So simply type zero and hit enter. Now wait for Laravel to complete creating the project for you. Okay, now you can see the application has successfully created. And now it is asking you to select the database. So for now, we'll be going with MySQL. Okay, you can choose the database according to your need. Since we are learning, we are going with MySQL. Okay, so let's type MySQL here. And hit enter. And that's all. So now our application is created successfully. Okay. So you can see inside the folder, we are having a new folder, my demo app. And inside that we can see a lot of folders, see? So we'll be walking through all these folders and what all these mean later on. So let's try running this application. So you can see that our application is inside this folder, my demo app. So let's change the directory. 
in the terminal so let's scroll down let's so let's close the terminal here and open a new one okay and let's try running this application okay so for that we have to change the directory cd followed by the folder name my demo app and hit enter so now we are inside the folder of the project now we can run the project by typing php artisan serve see we can type this command and hit enter now you can see the server is running on this port and this ip address okay so simply click on the control and you can click on this link okay using the mouse see and select chrome if you go to the chrome you can see our application has opened so this is a default page that is created by laravel so i will show you where you can see this so close this and go to resources this folder resources and open the folder views and you can see welcome.blade.php okay let's minimize the terminal okay and you can see this is the page so let's remove everything in this page Control a and hit backspace and save this file okay so now if you go to this page on the chrome and reload this page you can see it is showing nothing so that's because we have removed everything okay and let's type hi here something hi and save it now we can refresh this page and you can see hi on the top okay hope you can see it so that's it so here we can add anything and it will be visible on the view part okay and you can see routes and these are the routes that we will be creating for the application so later on i'll be walking you through everything in detail so mainly we are having routes views and uh, inside the app you can see http inside we are having controllers and also models okay so mainly we are having these four things later on we'll be walking you through everything in detail so hope you understand how to install and set up laravel on your windows device so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos